Hello guys and welcome back to highlights of the Apex Online Racing Season 15 F1 Championship. Back here today for round number 10 at the Singapore Grand Prix. And if you didn't see the last race in Italy, boy was that an enthralling one. A full wet race which produced the second consecutive race victory for NLR Evo. After going the whole season without winning any races... Uh, Evo has now won two on at the spin and he'll be looking to make it three in a row here Although the flying film will be determined to get back to winning ways So all in all a great race in prospect and taking a look what happened in season 14 It was STS F1 Alonso the flying fins brother who took victory ahead of the flying fin himself With NLR Evo there in third position who I'm sure will be prowling once again this year it was STS F1 Alonso that took pole with a 136.6 last season and this year it was a 136.4 that was enough for the Flying Finn who has now joined the Veloce Esports team uh, which is why he's got VES in front of his name, stands for Veloce Esports and uh, he's on the front row of the grid alongside NLR Evo. Uh, tucked in behind them are Danny M7 and TOR Leopard. Danny on a good run of qualifying. Uh, he qualified in the top three last race in Italy as well. Leopard will be looking for his first podium in split one. On the third row of the grid, we've got TRL Martin alongside Pinecone, who once again impressed in the Haas. P1 Brown and VSR Simon line up on row four with EVR Vet Reynolds and Veloce Surprise lining up it just inside of the top 10. Surprise, qualifying in 10th, just over a second off pole, but he has now made the full-time switch to the wheel, which is why his pace has dipped off slightly. Getting into the bottom half of the order, OMG, it's Joe, will start P11, just ahead of Drawmaster. The uh, timing's very close between the two of them. Cyril Rosberg and EVR Morso make it an all-Irish seventh row, with Gouch and Sam F1 LFC lining up just behind them. LGS was the last of the drivers to set a time with CRL Hamilton starting in 18th after not setting a time. Without further ado then, it is time to get into the qualifying comparison now for this lap around the Singapore circuit. Here we are then for a qualifying lap around the Singapore circuit with NLR Evo on the left and OMG It's Joe on the right. Both breaking into turn one. Evo taking a lot of curve through that first corner as they now try and get it turned in into turn three and get as little wheel spin as possible on exit. Now they are eyeing up turn five and the run onto the long DRS straight, which is a good overtaking opportunity come race day. Both onto the DRS now and through Raffles Boulevard. Currently Evo looks as if he is slightly ahead and as we take a pause we can see he is Ahead, indeed ahead by about a quarter of a second both breaking now into turn seven taking a similar line but Joe getting a little bit out of shape on exit due to using a little bit more curb and now they come through turn eight and turn nine the final of three 90 degree corners Joe once again getting a little bit out of shape going through turn nine and now they come towards the Singapore sling at turn ten and uh, taking similar lines through there before going over the Anderson bridge now and Evo is around about half a second ahead at this point both breaking in a straight line not locking up whatsoever but on exit Joe once again with a massive snap of oversteer whereas Evo is keeping those precise steering movements he's ahead now by about three quarters of a second as they come into this technical final sector around the marina Bay circuit taking similar lines through there but Evo going a little bit more deep and able to carry a little bit more speed as they now come towards the turns of 16 and 17 the track almost becomes re unrecognizable at this point between the two of them just because Evo has such a lead at this point going underneath the bridge now and going to, with Evo towards the end of the lap you can see those precise movements getting very close to the wall there on the exit of turn 21 and he goes through 22 and 23 to take P2 on the grid whereas Joe lands up in P11. On to the race start then, and with Singapore being a street track, the start was crucial for all drivers trying to make up positions. But the Flying Finn managed to fend off the attack of NLR Evo going in to Turn 1 and held the lead through the first complex of corners. TRL Leopard and TRL Martin battled it out for P4 slightly further back, but Leopard came out on top in that one. 
There were fast starts for Evior Morso, who moved up to 9th, and CRL Hamilton, who can be seen on screen now, moving up to 14th. Impressive stuff from them. There was a great battle brewing for P7 between VSL Simon and EVR Reynolds, but a massive tank slapper out the final corner left Simon down one position to eighth. And now he's fallen into the clutches of EVR Morso and OMG It's Joe at the back end of the top 10. Danny M7 and TOR Leopard were having impressive races, and on lap 7, Leopard was trying his best to get past Danny, but just couldn't find a way past at the start of the second sector. The start of lap 8 saw the first pit stops of the evening, and it was Pinecone who in fact decided to come in, and the Flying Finn, the race leader, would follow suit just a lap later. After a fantastic start to the Grand Prix, CRL Hamilton dumped it in the wall on the exit of Turn 5, and that brought an abrupt end to his afternoon. On to the start of lap 10, and this is where Pinecone would see just how much that early pit stop had paid off, and he was in fact around the second ahead of TOR Leopard, which could bring him into podium contention. Danny M7 pitted a lap later than Leopard, and that showed that Pinecone was in fact in a net P3. Further up the road and Flying Finn was trying to negotiate traffic up ahead. Drawmaster and Cyril Rosberg had not pitted yet and he was just trying to clear the traffic as quickly as he could because NLR Evo was yet to pit. Evo though emerged behind Finn after his first and only pit stop showing just how powerful the undercut was around this Singapore track. Finn was now eager to put cars between himself and Evo to make sure that Evo couldn't use his tyres to full effect later on in the race. By the end of lap 13, it was evident that Pinecone had probably come into the pits just a little bit too early. TOR Leopard had already passed him and then Danny M7 made his way past the Haas driver, demoting him into a net P5. Lap 14 and Evo now had two cars between himself and Finn, meaning that he was very frustrated going through this final sector and he just could not find the way past. Lap 15 just had to be the lap where Evo cleared Drawmaster and Rosberg if he was to stand any chance of race victory. And going through turn 6, he managed to dispatch of Drawmaster before then getting to the final sector and making a move down the inside of CRL Rosberg. Fast forward a few more corners and towards the uh, start of lap 16, he once again picked the location of turn 6 on the DRS to get past EVR Morso into P2. Once Evo had passed the slower moving drivers, it was clear to see that his pace was more than enough to match Finn. He got within half a second of him by the time lap 19 was done. Fast forward now to lap 23 and this was the most controversial moment of the race. A screen freeze for the flying Finn sent him flying into the wall and also into NLR Evo. Both drivers had wings damaged and had to come into the pits at the end of the lap, demoting them all the way to the bottom end of the top 10. This left TOR Leopard to pick up the pieces and lead his first AOR race. He had just seven laps to hold out up at the front. Evo emerged from the pits in P8 with the Flying Finn down in P10. And boy, you bet there was some overtaking action in these last few laps. Within just a lap of coming out of the pits, Evo was up on the tail of EVR more so, passing him with ease through turn six, which is a real favourite of Evo throughout this race. Just a lap later, he was at it again, on those ultra soft tyres down the inside of P1R Brown and up into P6. On towards the front now and the battle for P2. Now TRL Martin had decided to pit relatively late on in the race and TR Pinecone had no match for the pace of the Mercedes man. Back to NLR Evo now and you'll never guess where he got the move done on VSR Simon. Yes, it was into turn 6. Once again, that DRS just proving so effective for Evo. And later on, on lap 29, he also went down the inside of EVR Reynolds towards the final sector of the lap. Now on to lap 31, the final lap of the race. Tyrell Martin sitting in P2, but just behind him are Pinecone, Evo and the Flying Finn, who'd also managed to clear all of those drivers. But Evo made a move down the inside into turn 7 this time, getting ahead of Pinecone. But Finn also followed him through there and it was going to be such a tight battle right to the end. 
Going into the final sector of the race, it looked like the drivers were going to stay as they were, but after clipping the barrier, Tyrrell Martin was out of the race. 18 points were so near for him, but he just could not bring it home. Pure disappointment for him, but pure joy for T.O.R. Leopard, who took his first AOR victory. Well, if you are worn out from that, then you're definitely not the only one. I am pretty much lost of breath after that race. But anyway, going through the race classification, it was T.O.R. Leopard who took his inaugural AOR F1 win. Uh, with By 4.9 seconds ahead of NLR EVO, with the flying fin there in P3. T.O. Pinecone just missed out on a podium position by less than a second, but he will take great heart with those 12 points in P4. Ahead of Cyril Rosberg, who once again made up a load of positions in the race. Ahead of Viersel Simon in P6, some good points for Renault there, with EVR Reynolds and EVR Morso taking 7th and 8th respectively. P1R Brown and Danny M7 rounded out the points. Danny ran into some issues having to pit for a second time in the race, so bitterly disappointing for him. The final three classified drivers were Drawmaster, OMG It's Joe and Sam F1 LFC, with Tyrrell Martin agonisingly close to that P2, and he didn't even get any points. How That's just, that's just awful luck for Martin, but uh, anyway, I'm sure he'll bounce back in in the next race, and the other non-finishers finishers were Gouch, Surprise, Cyril Hamilton and LGS. On to the driver's standings now, and NLR Evo once again closed the gap to the Flying Finn, but it is still a pretty unassailable lead for Finn up at the top. Uh, the top four once again stay as they were, with their TOR Leopard moving up a few positions in at 2P5, and just a point behind Rosberg now. EVR Reynolds is up into P6, and Martin goes down to 7th, with Limitless also falling down into 8th. More so moved up 1 to 9th with Danny M7 falling to 10th. On to the constructors now and it's still Mercedes, Ferrari and Toro Rosso in the top 3. With Williams moving up from 6th to 4th and Force India and McLaren falling a position each. Red Bull stay in 7th but Haas with Pinecone's fantastic result move up into 8th in the standings. And Renault, although they're still at the bottom of the standings, have made up a lot of points compared to last time out, and they now sit on 14 points. Well, that is it for the Singapore Grand Prix. What a race it was. If you have enjoyed it, enjoyed it do make sure to leave a like. And uh, also, make sure to check out Apex Online Racing if you haven't already. But yeah, I will join you next time for the Austrian Grand Prix this weekend. But until then, guys, do take care. Bye-bye.